Hey guys, this is Faint, and I uh, wanted to talk to you about uh, some of the new features of the underwater diving system that I have uh, created. Um, I guess the first thing I'll show you is uh, this cool model that uh, the French uh, mod team ADO or ADO uh, created. Uh, I didn't have anything to do with this, I'm just using it from um, one of their mods that's already available on Armaholic and other places. Um, uh, this particular unit uses a uh, closed circuit, or I'm sorry, an open circuit uh, scuba system. Uh, they have another unit that uses a, uh, a LAR5 style uh, closed circuit UBS or underwater breathing system. Uh, right now, my mod uh, only makes use of uh, a single kind of a generic uh, underwater breathing system. Uh, so it'll work with both uh, scuba and um, C Cuba or whatever the other one is called. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you a couple of the cool features um, that I have created. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the, the dive computer. Uh, when you first start it up, it has a little boot screen, uh, goes through a system check, and it immediately takes you to the uh, battery uh, mode. <coughs> the battery mode, uh, the, the dive computer actually will run down. Uh, the batteries last about four hours, which is probably longer than any of the dives that you'll do. I think uh, dive time limit is uh, is four hours maybe for um, <coughs> a certain depth, uh, depending on what depth you're at. Um, but any missions that take longer than four hours, uh, you, you'll have to replace the batteries. Uh, the two other modes are uh, your depth mode. Uh, so right now I am uh, two and a half meters above uh, sea level. So it's showing my depth as 2.5. I might change that to read altitude when you're above zero meters, but I'm not sure yet. Um, you also notice that it has uh, the heading. So when I rotate around, the heading updates about once every second. Uh, it also has the current local time and the current date, uh, as well as the name of the dive computer, which I've named Divotron, which I thought was really funny, and the version, which is 2.9. <coughs> Uh, the uh, like I said, the second mode is battery, uh, and the third mode is your air or how much air you have left in your uh, either your scuba tanks or the oxygen tank that uh, would be strapped to your closed circuit system. Uh, the maximum amount of air you can carry is uh, 207 bars, which is equivalent to uh, 300 psi or a three liter tank of air. Um, so right now it's set to f it's set at five, so why don't we go and uh, see if we can fill it up. So I'm gonna head over to the uh, Combat Rubber Raider craft where I have a refueling hose I can hook up to. So I just select uh, refill oxygen tanks and you'll see that the oxygen level rises pretty quickly and it steps through all of the different uh, warnings that you have uh, such as empty, uh, danger, uh, warning, and safe. Once you get past 45 you're in the safe zone so um, you don't have to worry uh, until you get to there. Uh, like I said it, it rises up to 207 so once you're at 207 it'll stop refu refilling. Uh, one of the limitations is if you submerge before it's fully um, recharged, uh, it'll stop uh, just to prevent people from recharging their air while they're submerged. I thought that was more realistic if you couldn't do that. So, just gonna da -da -da, kill some time. We're almost there. 203, 205, 207. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm going to switch over back to uh, depth mode and uh, go ahead and go out into the water here. And this acts just like uh, any other unit diving in the water or swimming in the water. Uh, the only difference is as soon as I hit uh, numpad 1, uh, I start to uh, dive. I have to be at exactly zero meters before it dives. So with the wave action, uh, sometimes it's a little buggy. Uh, you can see if I look up, or you, maybe you can notice how I've done this. Uh, basically, I've attached a pond to uh, to this unit. Uh, there goes all my gear. Um, 
So uh, when you look up through the pond, you can't see the surface of the pond, but when you look down through it, you can. And that, that's true in first person as well, so it's, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, that's something I'm working on. But you have no limitations uh, in terms of where you move. So um, now that I'm underwater, uh, I can pretty much swim anywhere I want. I can go back to shore if I want. And there's a positive buoyancy, so as I just sit here and not hit any buttons at all, I'm slowly floating back up towards the surface. Uh, that's kind of equivalent to not having a dive belt on. Uh, and especially on the open circuit systems, when you inhale, you tend to uh, go back up towards the surface of the water. But as soon as I reach um, the top surface of the water, the pond disappears and because uh, it detaches from me and it actually goes up onto that hill over there um, where it uh, attaches to a, a unit that I have hidden on that hill over there. Um, so that's just a way of getting it so that you don't have to look at it when you're just sitting there on the surface uh, which I think is kind of a, a little bit of a nicer feature. So really the pond only appears as soon as you start to try to dive. Again you have to wait for the waves to bring you back down to uh, zero meters. But as soon as you hit zero meters you can start diving. So that, that's a little bit of a bug. I was thinking about making it so a little bit different but uh, you know six one half dozen of another. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get in this boat over here and show you a couple of the other uh, things that I've done. To board that ship. I tell my dive buddy to come with me. It's always good to dive with the dive buddy. It, uh, it's good for safety reasons. And whenever you're doing any of this uh, underwater work, uh, safety should always be your primary concern. Because it's pretty easy to uh, lose, lose track of how much air you have, uh, how much time you have left to get back to the surface, uh, which is a feature I have not yet implemented, but I will implement. Um, that sort of thing. It's also really easy to lose track of where you are when you're underwater. Uh, so I'll show you um, one of the things that I've done is I've set up uh, a series of buoys uh, so and I've attached them all together so that they'll reach the uh, bottom of the ocean in this particular location. So here's a fishing vessel and there's the buoy. Stop. Turn off my engine. And one of the cool features that I just kind of fell in into my lap is uh, the ability to just stand up in the stand up in the boat if I just hit uh, numcat numpad two. So now I am standing in the boat. Um, it's kind of nice if you are trying to uh, scout out a location and you're trying to figure out where your target vessel is. So you can take out your binoculars, look in towards shore if you have binoculars equipped, and um, which I don't right now. And uh, the only uh, limitation is that as I'm turning left and right here, I'm, I'm kind of like getting stuck on the boat a little bit. So the boat's really not made to be a walkable surface. It's just kind of like working out that way. Um, so it's a little bit, little bit limiting, but uh, you know it's better than nothing. Once you're in the water, you can't take out your binoculars and look through them. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, jump into the water here. And if you have trouble, you can just run forward a little bit. All right, there we go. So now I'm in the water. I'm gonna, just going to leave my dive buddy in there. And uh, I'm going to start start my dive. Um, there's my watch, depth meter. Uh, check my air. Just double check my air. 207. Two. Disembark. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to have my dive body dive with me. Two. Return to formation. <coughs> 
So as you're on the surface, you just swim around like you would normally swim around. <laughs> 